Just because I talk about somebody doesn't mean they need to be fired, especially if you hired them knowing what I could find and everybody else could find just by Googling their name. I'm looking for the real agenda here. I'm doing what the president told us to do, find out where he stands by looking at those he surrounds himself with. The firing of the uh, corrupt ACORN workers or forcing Van Jones to resign, that doesn't answer a single question. That doesn't get us anywhere uh, on the questions of how did these people get in there in the first place and how much influence do they really have? Here's some more good news. Even CNN, with an interview with an Air America host, are finally asking the same questions that I've been asking. Watch this. I am very curious about how the White House sort of thought through some of these lower level appointees. I mean, not so lower level. Um, I, I, I think that while uh, during the campaign they showed a really masterful understanding of the way that the media works and the way that people respond to certain kinds of allegations, um, it seems like they really had no idea this was going to be a problem. And that disturbs me more than anything. Yeah, yeah. How, how did they not catch that one? Sooner or later, people on both sides of the aisle are going to realize this isn't about left or right. It's not about conservative or liberal. She's an Air America. We're asking the same questions. We're being played by Republicans and Democrats. The weasels in Washington are pitting us against each other. The Bush administration was doing it. Now the Obama administration is doing it. Why? Because it's good for them. They don't care about you or your agenda. They got their agenda. They're playing the same old Washington games, and to play the game, you have to play ball. Put the ball down, head for the clubhouse. The game is rigged, corrupt. It is rigged. There's no way for you to win this game. The only way you can change things is by saying, whoa, 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 wait a minute, what? Let me ask you a couple of simple questions. If if they really wanted just health care reform, which I agree, broken, have you been to an emergency room lately? Stinks on ice. Can we fix it? You bet. We're America. Of course we can. But if that was your goal, why would you put a provision to subsidize union health care pension plans to the tune of $10 billion in there? Especially if you're concerned about, oh, how much everything's costing us. Let me ask you this. You're putting a $10 billion gift to unions. Could it have anything to do with, oh, I don't know, statements like this? Your agenda has been my agenda in the United States Senate. Before debating health care, I talked to Andy Stern and SEIU members. Before immigration debates took place in Washington, I talked with Alcia Medina and SEIU members. Before the EFCA, I talked to SEIU. So we've worked together over these last few years, and I'm proud of what we've done. I'm just not satisfied. Democrats, did he call you? Did he call any of your friends? I mean, is that just another crazy coincidence from that nut job, Glenn Beck on television? Oh, sure, he says there's $10 billion in the health care, and then they play something for the president. I don't know, just talking about how he's always with the unions and calling them. Until the cards are all face up, we cannot allow anything else to pass. No more giant bills with all the kinds of goodies for special interests lost in thousands of pages of legalese that nobody is reading. They're not reading them because they know who's writing them, and it ain't the people that we elected. Maybe Obama trusts the groups that are cobbling together these bills, like the Apollo Alliance did with the stimulus package, or the, you know, as the president just said, Andy Stern at SEIU. But I don't know who these people are, do you? I don't know them. Let me show you something. I, you know, on Saturday, I said that we need to kill the cancer in our country, and our cancer that we have, and it's happening on, on both sides of the aisle, is, um, is corruption. It's killing us. America is an idea. That's all we are, in an idea. And if the idea is to get rich, if the idea is to control people, you kill the republic. And that's what's happening. Show, show the blue screen, please. Here are the power centers of corruption. First, we start down at uh, New Orleans. This is, they're in the same building. ACORN and SCIU. Who's around the president all the time? ACORN and SCIU. Let me just ask you this one. I know I'm going out on a limb here, but look at the two guys. They're two brothers, they're twins. They should be villains in a James Bond movie. Look at them. Is it just me? Okay, next, let's go to Chicago. 
What could possibly ever be corrupt in Chicago? Oh, Blagojevich. By the way, did you hear about the guy who was going to testify against him who mysteriously died of an aspirin overdose? <laughs> oh, how many people do you know dying of an aspirin overdose? Hmm. Anyway, we also have, oh, we've got uh, William Ayers here, the, wonder, uh, the weather underground guy. We have uh, Jeremiah Wright there, of course, at the blackboard. Boy, let's make fun of people who go at the blackboard. There's uh, Barack Obama. Chicago, the heart of corruption. You know that and I know that. Let's go to the next place where there's corruption everywhere. In fact, this one's so corrupt, you have the Apollo Alliance, the guy who is the head of the Apollo Alliance, remember, the people that wrote the stimulus bill, the chair of the Apollo Alliance in New York, that is constantly with the governor of New York, is Jeff Jones, the other founder of the Weather Underground. Gee, you'd think somebody, maybe the New York Times would like to do a story on that. I won't wait, we'd be here for a year. Okay, who else? Bernie Madoff. They're talking to you today, the president's coming out saying, you know what, we need to just to totally redo the financial system. With what? With the unions in charge? The guy, are you kidding me? The unions, they're gonna clean up corruption. We have Bernie Madoff, we have a guy who's writing our tax codes in New York. He can't even pay his own taxes. No, there's no corruption in New York. And now it's all starting to go to one place. But let me start on the other side of the country before we go to Washington. Let me show you over here. San Francisco, Democrats, let me ask you, really. Is that who you are? Are you a, a, a self-avowed communist radical? That's who he is. Stop with the, he called the Republicans a naughty name. I've done that. Stop with that. A self-avowed communist radical started Storm, a radical group. Can anybody, can anybody do a story on that? No, that's crazy. And Nancy Pelosi, really? Okay, now they're concentrating all their power. Where are they doing it? Bring me to Washington, D.C., please. And here's why they're doing it. All the special interests, the handouts, the stimulus, the health care, the cap and trade bills, they aren't there to build a better nation. That's not there to do anything except this. Make these special interests, go ahead and start, make these special interests stronger in Chicago and New Orleans and New York. And here's what's going to happen. As more and more money floods out into the system, this corrupt organization gets stronger and stronger and stronger until it's gone. It's gone. Do you know who gave money to ACORN? The teachers union. The NEA is giving, what is it, a million and a half bucks to ACORN? you got to be kidding me. ACORN, the people who are sitting there and saying, yeah, don't worry about those 13-year-olds that are being used as hookers. It's corrupt. They're going to build the framework of these corrupt organizations to fundamentally transform America. And if we allow any of these bills to go through, an already enormous problem in our country is going to spread like a disease. We need to kill the corruption before we do anything else. What we need to do is quarantine Washington, D.C. Nothing goes in, nothing comes out. Nothing. Until we clean up the infection. You start by rejecting every single bill. Look, you may want health care. You can't do it while SEIU is at the table. You can't do it while uh, community organizations like ACORN are at the table. And believe me, these are shell game operators. They're going to shut down ACORN. They'll just move it someplace else. you got to end it. Republicans, you police your own people. Democrats, I feel like I'm a dad sitting here with my two kids. Don't tell me what she's doing. You mind your own business. You mind your own business. You, got, you both have problems. Questions still need to be answered. Remember, when I ask questions, I'm just trying to do what the president told us to do. I'm not trying to get anybody fired. I'm just asking questions.